Hey folks, this is JW from Stevens Family Outdoors, and tonight when I'm on my coyote hunt, I'm going to be using this new tripod I got from FoxOptic.com. The base and legs are Shadow Tech, and the head is a Sunway photo head with the um, dovetail. I'll be using the dovetail, which will allow it to either clamp to your dovetail or pick a tenny. And you do that just by the flip of this lever here. And then here you've got the adjust for the ball head maneuverability right here. And it is tight when you tighten her down. It also has the telescopic um, middle post there in case you're just a little short and need another couple inches uh, in case you might be six foot eight or something. <laughs> But it has that, and it also has the hook that you can put a backpack or something on to help stabilize uh, the tripod if need be. Uh, I'm six feet, and uh, right now the legs are extended all the way out, and it's a little higher than I would need, so, and I'm six feet um, on the nose. And, of course, I'd have to lower the legs down just a hair. But anyway, that's what we have. Sunway photo head, ball head, large ball. It swivels. Uh, if you want to tighten up the swiveling action, there you just do it there. And it's solid. The head ball is controlled by this one knob, which I keep it on my left side because I'm right-handed and uh, I can move it around whatever I need to be to get a shot and then lock it down okay okay folks this is JW with Stevens Family Outdoors and recently in the last few weeks I've lost uh, some turkeys to foxes and coyotes so I went down to the bottom of my property and set up and unbeknownst to me as I snuck down and set up uh, to call in these foxes and coyotes I looked over to where I had placed um, a groundhog carcass and there was this fox already there 30 yards away so I snuck up on him went ahead um, and, and started lift squeaking as you can hear. And I didn't want to shoot when it was that close to the tree on the other side because I was afraid I may hit the tree so I waited until he stepped out. didn't take him too long to do that I have the lucky duck roughneck between my legs because I didn't have a chance to set it out yet so uh, the shot he's gonna step out here just a little in just a little bit and we'll take the shot here we go in the story okay what had happened next was I went ahead and set the caller out and I started playing a sequence of the lip squeaks for a couple minutes switched over to baby cottontail for about five minutes and then switched over to the fawn in distress and uh, for a few minutes there with no avail so I put a coyote howl on and it did two howls and I looked up and saw this and hurried up and switched back to the fawn bleep. You just heard the safety, <laughs> safety go off. <laughs> you can hear the fawn bleed in the background. End of story right there for 
the turkey killers. Okay, folks, I've cleared the rifle uh, of the magazine and the cartridge in the chamber. And now I'm going up uh, on the hill and retrieving this coyote. It turned out that it was um, a female, probably from last year's crop. It weighed about um, 30 pounds, probably. <clears throat> so you see me checking it out there. I see it's a female. Trying to catch my breath. It's a pretty steep hill I had to go up. So. Here we go. And just for the record, it was uh, a very humane kill. Uh, it was a headshot. I always like to put him down humanely.